Hello, Hello mga so, Welcome to Rainbow Talks. I'm Johari. I'm Nix Alex. I'm Rainier. I'm Keith. I'm Miles. Yeah, welcome. And so, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I think first on the uh, first topic is coming up. Um, could you start the conversation? Yeah, sure. Uh, I have some revelations because coming out for me, although I have some revelations, but I just want to share it. Coming out is a really hard process, especially for young people. Imagine I come out three years ago. It's just a small lang siya. And or it means ko yun ang new friends. Kasi that time, nasaan ko kasi din ka rin. Ako at pang ako. And then nung nagpandemi, na uh, mas nakilala ko yung sarili ko. Ito ako. Matakwaran din ako. So, mas na-intentify ko yung sarili ko. And then, those times na nag-come out na yung ako. But, nung nag-come out ako, syempre, nakareceive ako ng daning ako. From relatives, from ano na. Uh, kasi nga lalaki, perspective kapag lalaki ka, ikaw ang tutuloy ng, ng clan ninyo ngayon sa so old dad. Kaya, nalawa ako ako sa part na yun. But anyways, right now, kita naman putok na putok yung make-up ko. Because I, I embrace myself. Pero what push you to find it? For me, uh, kapag tinago ko yung sarili ko, I'm not being true to myself. Na parang nag, I'm living na I'm just suffering every day not to be true to myself. Kaya, why not come out? Kasi, pag come out ka man o hindi, meron at meron negativities naman na, na ano. But, coming out is not a requirement for us. Uh, it's a choice. Hindi siya pressure. Dapat yung pressure. Nasa sa inyo yan kung gusto niyo na mag-come out and not. Pero sa akin, and my, and my personal perspective, I really wanted to come out. Because I want to be true to myself. Yun yung naging goal ko sa buhay na maging, magpakatotoan na ako. Bakla ako. At <laughs> may add na for coming out also is, you know, it's a series of coming out. Right, right. I think what I've learned from, you know, when I came out is that it's not just gonna happen one time. Na parang like, I, I, I came out first to my friends. Although, funny story, lasing ako nun eh. Tapos they were like, they were like, Ano ka ba talaga? Kasi parang, <laughs> and, and I was like, oh, okay, okay, maybe this is the time. Although parang at, at unhealthy chat first, um, yung fruit naman niya of my coming out was healthy. Na, they didn't discriminate me, they didn't think differently about me. And I just found myself, like, since that moment, coming out to more and more groups of people na parang, ah, I'm this, oh, I'm that. So, but yeah, it, it's it's really, and it's really empowering. Mm -hmm. Not to mention, it's really empowering, then. So, ayon, we are in here, um, Keith. Yeah. Ako, I think <clears throat> important din na ma, um, mapag-usapan natin yung differences of experiences sa yeah. pag-come out yeah. in different uh, generations. No. So, for example, for for the younger generation, it it it. It may not be as hard as the people in the 1960s, for example, or for those who are in the 1970s. Nung panahon ko, nung panahon ko, I mean, I mean, um, during the, for like said, this is the young generation. Yeah. yeah. No? Uh, hindi kami include eh. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. It's really important <laughs> na, na may ma-acknowledge ma natin yung yung pag-come out ng mga older people. Mm -hmm. eh, siguro yung as old as I am, or yung mga older pa than I am. No? Kasi, kasi they, they set the, the, the road for oh. us no? para maging easier yung pag-come out sa akin. Yeah. Yeah. Diba? Um, nung panahon ko, we, we don't usually talk about Soji. In fact, hindi namin alam yung Soji eh. Ngayon, ngayon lang lumalabas yung Soji. At, 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 at ngayon pa lumalabas yung Soji, SC. Di ba? Meron pa pala yeah. SC. No? So, so habang, habang humahaba no, yung, yung ating experience about coming out, experience or, or yung pagkakaalam natin about sexuality and all that, no, nag-iiba yung ating experiences about coming out no, as, as, as time passes by. Yung ganyan. How about you guys? So yun. Oo, oh, oh, eto yung pinaka-interesting eh. Kasi pangalan naman yung ano. <laughs> <laughs> kasi iba yung generation nila, kuya rin yung iba yung generation na rin. Iba okay. naman yung sa in. Right. Okay. Kaya mas gusto naman namin marinig yung perspective. I haven't actually came out to my family. Um, 
family. Uh, almost all of my friends know that I'm not straight, but I haven't really confirmed on my gender and sexuality. And that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. I'm more on the process of questioning myself, but I'm pretty sure that I'm not straight. I'm not a woman. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I feel like there's more masculine energy. And I don't know if I will come out to my parents, but maybe this video. Because I'm gonna show you. I don't I don't know if they'll watch it. Right, right, right. But for sure, sooner or later I can't really hide it anymore. So mm -hmm. I'm just really afraid. What will make you say that ready to come out? Oh Siguro. Once I don't think I'll ever be ready. I'll just have to uh, I just have to be brave to tell them. I'll never be ready, but maybe I'll be brave. How about you? What do you think of coming out? Well, since I've come out to like most of my friends and classmates already, they're highly supportive of it. I've came out to my parents actually. My mom is also very supportive. She calls me by my chosen name, but my dad. <laughs> Just, <laughs> I, I I can't say I understand, but maybe because um, according to Alex, na um, they expect they have the older generation has expectations mm -hmm. for the younger generation. Oh. Uh, ganyan, <laughs> <laughs> and that's not our expectation. That I come out in your ear. Where was I? Expectation. 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 I, mean, I, I think um, the reason I, I was so afraid of coming out then, mostly because um, even my friends are um, most of them are older than me. Yeah. And and the fear is that they may, they might not accept it as mm. easily as the other groups mm. uh, that I've been friends with and have come out na, na come out na mm. And I think even as young, but ten years from now, there's a lot of difference yeah. within these things. And, and now, and um, may nasaset talaga na expectations to us, mm -hmm. to the younger generation. And ayun lang, parang that's why it's hard to come out to to them, because mm -hmm. they, they they expect something from you, they yeah. expect things from you. And once na, na parang it doesn't fit the, the mode of expectations, parang they become disappointed. Because you ba naman, you expect mo na ganito, tapos ganyan ka pala. Ah, ba din? Tapos, interesting din dito, di ba? When you start to come out, hindi na yun natatapos. Yeah. Hindi ka out ka na every day of your life. So, kung um, kumpare, di ba? Um, when I met you, di ba, first time ko lang naman kayo dunit, di ba? And, and, and suddenly, I came out in front of you, diba? Kasi you didn't know naman about my sexuality even before this, right? So, um, so, at an interesting din, more interesting dito ay, may mga tao na we choose not to come out. Yeah. Yeah, diba? Yeah. Uh, kung mali, I would say na ako ay nag-come out ako sa family, nag-come out ako sa lahat ng circles ng akin, pero not lahat. May mga circles pa rin tayo na hindi natin sinasabi because basically, you understand na not everyone is able to 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 address no? whatever is happening to us, yung ganyan, or, or whatever our sexuality is, yung ganyan. Pero pero interestingly, um, this is something that I saw on Twitter. It's a mm -hmm. comic. Sabi niya, um, um, you don't have. Parang he, he was pertaining to his mom mm -hmm. and trans siya, and his mom doesn't uh, recognize mm -hmm. yeah. that he's trans. Right. And sabi niya. Yung, yung wish niya lang is that I don't need her to understand me. I just need her to hold my hand. What do you think of that? Yeah. Uh, sobrang ano lang. Kasi ako, uh, eto na share ko na to before to most of my friends na I have this anxiety and depression noon na I really don't care naman kung may sasabihin ka o magka-comfort ka. I just want you to be there. Mm -hmm. Same with coming out na hindi ko naman kailangan talaga na i-fully accept ko because it's, it, it also takes process for you okay. to process yung, yung pag-come out ko. But I just want you to be there 
para hindi ko nararamdaman na I'm being alone after I come home. Tapos there are uh, may mga times na kailangan natin i-accept din sa atin na na um, not everyone ay capable din to understand yung pagbabago, no? Kasi especially doon sa mga mas mas matatanda sa atin, yung mga senior citizens, we don't expect them to do so GSC. Yeah. Diba? So, so if they don't understand so, so GSC, at, 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 at nasa edad na rin sila sa kanilang buhay na mahirap na silang tuluan. Alam mo yun, yeah. uh, you can't teach new tricks one old dog, yung ganyan. Um, uh, I, I hate to sound an apologist ha, pero, <laughs> <laughs> pero sometimes, sometimes, we cannot find fault din naman sa mga, sa mga older generations yeah. no? because nabuhay sila sa isang reality na nagsasabing hate. Yeah. Dapat lalaki ka lang, at hey, dapat babae ka lang. No? At kapag, kapag anything in between, is actually sinful. No? Doon, yeah. nabuhay sila sa ganung klaseng scenario, sa ganung klaseng realidad, di ba? And then suddenly, habang nagbabaho yung panahon, dumarating tayo, dumarating yung mas bata, may mga realities na nagbabago, may mga, may mga mindset na nagbabago. No? And sometimes, the older generations are not ready to, 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 to accept na, hey, nagbago na pala yung aking... Um, generation old na kinuhold ng mga beliefs. Yeah. And that's why I always been afraid of coming up because I've been raised mm -hmm. uh, I have cousins that have been in a relationship with lesbian and I was raised uh, being told na huwag kang gumayin sa kanila. And maybe we all have an uh, internal homophobia. That's why I was raised. Uh, how about you? Like when you came out I mean, I'm literally trans, but I'm also transphobic to myself. Mm -hmm. It's like sometimes uh, my dad pushes like, um, oh, those LGBT blah 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 are like abnormal. And then I internalize that as well. So whenever I try to hint that I'm feeling masculine or like I want masculine or pronouns and stuff, it's always like, no, I should, I should refer to myself with like the female pronouns, I'm a girl, I should do this, blah blah blah. And it just hurts because mm -hmm. I'm an only child, so they expect a lot. But now I'm just going the other way. Turn <laughs> me. I mean, but I hope that you transcend that. Because mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know. What do we do? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's how I, I feel. Oh, I think you, you feel like a fear, nothing. Yeah. Okay, lang kasi na na na. Uh, yung friends natin ay hindi tayo maintindihan at hindi tayo accept. Okay lang yun. Diba? Yeah. O, kung, kung yung um, minamahal natin, hindi tayo pa rin accept. Minamahal ni yung other one. Uh, that's fine. Pero once the family, hindi ka na kaya ni accept. The world crumbles. Diba? Yeah. Is there supposed to be there for you? Mm, exactly. There Parang sila yung inaasahan mo na magmamahal sa'yo. Kapag magubos na lahat ng mga tao magmamahal sa'yo, ang, ang tanging tao na matitira, supposedly, ang kanyang family mo, right? And nakatatak na rin sa isip natin na family first. Right. Your family will always have to do this. But then, when you're gay and smart, they suddenly don't. And we feel unfair kapag, kapag, kapag tayo, we accept them for who they are, right? Sige, ma, um, diba rin, ma, sige, ikaw ay yosi or ino, ganyan, diba? That's fine, diba? But suddenly, your mom came out of setting for who you are. Alam mo yun, bakit, bakit, bakit siya kaya na siyang tanggapin, pero bakit siya hindi na kaya tanggapin. Yeah. Diba? Lalo na, they give birth to you and right. I'm born this way, ma. Sa mga, yeah. Hindi ko ba, ganyan, diba? Born with a rainbow plus seven times. Ayan. So, last two minutes na lang pala. So, conclusively, I think we can all agree na, na coming out is a series of coming out. Yes, right. Coming out is um, ano na to? What's the word? Not empowering, but it is empowering. Emancipating. You know, it's it's like ganon. <laughs> so, ayun. Coming out is a choice. I, I just want to emphasize that. Kasi minsan nagkakaroon tayo ng pressures at identities na But speak of which, let's talk naman yung identities ng, ng ano natin, yung mga identities natin.
Jesus. <laughs> it was always my childhood best friend. So I thought I was a lesbian, like at first. But then as time passed, it's like, oh, maybe I'm just non-binary or gender fluid. Because I was very, like, confused with the sexuality and gender labeling. But then when, <laughs> when she called me good boy, oh. Oh. That, that did something. Mm. You're kinky. No! <laughs>
dating your sexual things. It's just I admire that person. Then, then this pandemic, I ask really myself because you know we are in a pandemic, we are locked down, and BL series during pandemic boom so much. So yun yung para na di second gay awakening ko. Pero kinikilig ako. Pero ayoko naman magkaroon ng uh, male partner until disaster happened. <laughs> disaster happened. <laughs> because of that guy who I, I, I had a relationship with then and he works at the NDRRMC. Joke. Siya ba yung nagtatext sa akin? Sa for me to much identify myself. Kasi, doon ko na-realize na hindi lang pala talaga ako basta interested lang sa tao. Naging interesado ako sa tao kasi nagkaroon kami ng fun. Nagkaroon kami. So, doon ko na-develop yung identity ko of being a demisexual and at the same time, ako, tiya ay ang feminine but still, I don't want to be labeled in any gender. Because at that time, I am questioning myself. But then I realized, why should I make myself very complicated? Kung pwede namang magkaroon ako ng gender na hindi ko kailangang mamili sa kapit. Andun sa, ano sa. I, I, I identify myself non-binary. So yun. Ganun naman yung, ano po. I think it's really interesting how Alex talks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I'm, I'm demisexual. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna talk like this. Anyway. But how about it? Oh my god. <laughs> no, don't ask me that. <laughs> no, I mean, um, ako masay kuya and guys. Guys. Uh, let's be inclusive. And alphabets. <laughs> dear. Letters. Oh, dear. Uh, Mahal. I don't know, I'm misgendering everyone. <laughs> <laughs> it was back in 2020. Actually, I'm I'm still unexpectedly bisexual, which I thought I wouldn't be. Um back in 2020, we got trapped and I had this friend and, and, and you know, BL series were very viral and on. And and parang, ano like, why is everyone fussing about this um, show? And then I watched, then parang I was like, at, at first it started to bore me. But like watching and watching that, and like I, I've seen those instances with a friend of mine. But I'm, oh my god, I may not be who I thought I was. But pero prior to that, I've had um, accidents. Accidents. <laughs> accidents. <laughs> If I have disaster, you have accidents. <laughs> That's it. Well, one thing you should know about me is that I love alcohol. So yeah. So um, you know, you're your 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 true self when you're drunk. 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 As that that as drunk. Um, I was um, I was at a party one time and I was really drunk. That was, I don't know. Um, I don't know his name anymore. That's fine. Yeah. I don't, I don't know his name anymore. That was before I, I realized that I like guys. Sabi ko that those were accidents. Because I was, well, a devoted Christian. <laughs> but I did not love because you are a devoted. I love because. Yeah. The... But but anyways, I don't know. But um, um, we followed each other into the bathroom. Oh, yeah. interesting. What happened? Yeah. Things happened. Things happened. Things happened. Things happened. I thought uh, back in high school he was bullying me. But mm -hmm. and, like, uh, I, I don't want to be explicit. <laughs> but in 2020, I realized, because I had a friend, that's my job about a girl. When I realized. But then I got so guilty. Because it, it, if it's your first, very. It's like a burning, I don't know, like it's like a burning passion. So I, I got so guilty that I broke up with her. 
though it was my longest relationship up to date. <laughs> up to date. It was a month. Just like it's a month, not a month. A, it, that's an accident. It's a disaster too. Yeah. But I'm next Yeah. Let's, I don't know, like a cool year later. Well, grab the same question. Just like everyone else, I think important you yung existence ng popular culture sa pag-intindi natin ng ating identity. Yeah. Diba? That kung, means it. Kung, Cheers kung, on that. Oo. Oh, kung nung panahon nyo, nyo! Kung nung panahon nyo, merong DM, diba? Eh, parang ito yung, ito yung Bible ninyo in, in, in navigating with your identities, diba? Sa panahon namin, it was not. No? Nung panahon namin ay, um, meron kaming... Uh, meron kaming... Meron kaming... Meron kaming... Meron Boy bands! Ah! ah! Ah, anyway, meron din kayong boy pa sa yung BTS. Oh, okay. Pero during our time, so medyo western ito. Ito yung mga pa, street boys, NC, A1, yung ganyan. No? So, 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 yung mga pinafantasize, uh, nami. Nagigigay <laughs> 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 ako sa, pag, sa pag-distant ng sarili ko, no? <laughs> yung, yung, yung pinafantasize ng, ng generation namin ay, ay nasa mga bands, di ba? Yeah. In fact, uh, kahit yung mga rock bands, di ba? Yung, yung, yung mga yung yung uh, simple plan yung mga ganyan oh, uh, 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 nila like natin yung band pero ayaw nating tanggapin sa sarili natin growing up na we actually like the person yeah diba who's singing diba <laughs> oh, gusto natin si Nick Carter or <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Carter yung mga ganyan no? um, <clears throat> tapos as we as we move along as we grew yung ganyan no? um, unti-unti nare-realize natin na parang iba ka natin nararamdaman ko no sa yeah. sa, sa, sa aking pag-iidolo sa mga sa mga sa mga singers diba in fact nung nung bata ako nila like namin si Carlo Aquino yung mga ganyan kasi <laughs> this, <laughs> diba, these are the these are the artists we grew up with yeah diba? so so parang yung nag-awaken sa akin no ng ng, ng aking um, sexuality it was Carlo Aquino same diba? <laughs> and not just Carlo Aquino pwede din si John Prax yung ganyan <laughs> So, you will realize no, na, na very important yung existence ng popular culture sa, yeah. sa, 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 pag, sa pag-intindi natin na kung sino ba talaga tayo. No? Um, <clears throat> um, yun. Uh, I think yung, 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 yung interesting din doon sa, sa generation namin ay, um, I, and I think nakikita din dito sa generation ninyo, di ba? Yung, yung uh, kasi mahirap natin tanggapin, di ba? Kung mara yung VRK. Yeah. Tapos, nahihirapan tayong tanggapin na tayo ay gay solely, no? So, so, so minsan sinasabi natin, oh, I am bi. Yeah. No? I mean, no offense sa mga, sa mga bi, ha? Pero, pero sometimes, no, the, the, the gay people will say, no, we are bi's because ayaw natin tanggapin na, na, sa kapwa ko lang ako nagkakagusto, uh-huh. di ba? Kasi, kasi meron pa rin tayong, uh, meron pa rin tayo ko, oh, meron pa rin tayong self-stigmatization and self-discrimination na sinasabing, ay, um, uh, bakla na nga ako, so kailangan ay, ang aking ipro-project ay, nagkakagusto ko rin ako sa babae. Yeah. Diba? Kasi, kasi mas, mas, mas acceptable for us no? mm-hmm. na, na nagkakagusto pa rin tayo sa babae kahit na nagkakagusto rin tayo sa lalaki. Interesting, we are in here. Kasi, I think I went through that kind of phase, except I proved na I really still do like girls. Sometimes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> because there was a moment within um, my coming out when I realized my awakening and then now na parang I wasn't at all interested in, in women or anything that had to do with them. But then, um, there are certain moments na parang I would really rethink that. So parang sabi ko, oh. Kasi parang nun, I really got na guilty ako. <laughs> I'm a Twitter person and a lot of opinions go there. Mm-hmm. So parang, um, and, and also dating culture, diba? there's there's that stigma. So parang I, I was um, guilty na, ah, baka I really don't like girls. Maybe I am gay. Maybe I am gay. But that's when I started all of this facade. Right, right, right. Um, and then, uh, there were moments na, I really want to kiss that girl. Mm-hmm. Or, like, Oh my god, I'm sorry. I really want to kiss that girl. I really want to, um, you know, Mom. go, like, go on a date with that girl. So I realized that, uh, yeah, so, yeah, 
But uh, it's interesting that you opened that up because it, it's super nah, and, and it's 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 a uh, it's identity crisis after an identity <laughs> crisis, yeah. right? Yeah. Diba? Because you you put the gap on yourself kapag you 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 you're fully in terms with yourself. Hindi siya isang proseso yeah. lang, di ba? Yeah. Hindi siya overnight na nangyayari. Paunti-unti yan. So parang may pagbabago nung ikaw ay element, element. Hindi may pagbabago nung ikaw ay high school, magbabago nung college. Nawalwal ka na after college. So, <laughs> so anong mag-feel nyo kung nag, like next year pala, straight pala ako? Well, we're respecting you. Last time kayo. Last time ako si Sean. After all the college. Wait, last time ako. Pero yung question doon ay nasa harap ka ba namin? Oo. Oh, oh. Nasa harap ka namin kung respect. When <laughs> you're not here, say, oh. Ito ba? Ito yung mga ano na eh. Okay. And I joke lang, that is wrong game. That is wrong game. Yeah. But it's important to know na um, identity is personal yan. Hindi pwede nga identify ka niya. I pwede pa kasi ito. Dapat ikaw yan. And remember that not because you identify yourself na non-binary ako ngayon, eh hindi na pwede magbago po. Because identity is in the mind, it's your psycho, personal. So technically, it may change. And it's okay. Because we are young, we are human beings, and we are in a process, in learning. Kaya nga lagi namin sinasabi, every day is a day. Kasi araw-araw, may bago kang matutunan, araw-araw, may bago kang uh, matutukulong sa sarili mo. And embrace that. Embrace that. It, that's yung very important. To embrace it and accept yourself. Kasi yun yung first, na pinaka-importante sa identity. Yung pagtanggap sa sarili mo natin. I think important din na, na i-acknowledge natin na not all the time, na kami, di ba, kung mara, meron tayong iba't ibang mga, ano, iba't ibang mga identities, not all the time ay merong isang word na mag-label sa ating identity. Kasi remember, nung, nung mga 1970s, wala pang transgender na term eh, di ba? But there are people who are transgender even before that time, di ba? So, so I, and, and, and they and they identify themselves as lesbian lang, di ba? So, so lesbian became a term na 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 identify to a wide spectrum of people di ba oh but now kaya na natin i-identify yung mga differences yung ganyan so so what's my point my point is this um ngayon no it's all right to not it's all right for someone to not be able to identify himself yet no because maybe in the future magkakaroon din siya ng isang label na, na mag-identify sa kanya right um I agree, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> Kung hindi kayo nag hindi kayo <laughs> Anyways, parang like, ayun nga, um, I think this is what I saw lang talaga with Alex, like, working with him. Uh, you really don't need labels. Hmm. Pero, um, personally, uh, I experience ako dyan, Kuya. Um, I just wanna share, this was a very emotional moment for me. Kasi may tita sa GC namin. My favorite tita, actually. I will come not over sharing. Sa tita ko man, if you're watching, I love you. It's just that of what you did, I don't love. <laughs> Anyways, um, sa GC namin, he was like, she, tita pa si tita. Miss Jen. Sorry, sorry. He, uh, she was prying me to, to out myself sa buong family. Are you? Gay, are you not gay? Are you bisexual? Are you not bisexual? And for me, kasi I was really confused. Kasi ayun nga, parang, and I told her, um, I don't think na I can label myself as of the moment. Kasi I, I'm really just figuring things out. And she said, was it? Kailangan mo ng label. Kasi how will people know you? And that's, like, that was stuck with me for like, Three months. And it was just like when 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 I'm thinking about myself, it's just at what am I? Mm -hmm. And I feel like, uh, of course, um, the world is fast adjusting. Mm -hmm. the, the the world is fast evolving. I really think that um, I thought. I think this this comes into topic. Um, there was some video that I was watching which said, "Do you agree or disagree?" That not being an ally means that you don't 
um, that you are a bad person. And when, when I saw that question, yung na naalala ko lang talaga is how my tita interrogated me into outing myself. Kasi she's, as far as I'm concerned, she's not an ally, but she's not, she doesn't hate them. But mm -hmm. um, even then, parang I couldn't really uh, clarify if, she, if, if that made her a bad person or that made her not a bad person. Siguro, it's important din na we define ally. Mm -hmm. Kasi there are progressive allies na yung talagang ally natin, nakasama natin, who can understand. But, and there's, and those, there are people na tolerating lang talaga. But they are not really your ally kasi they are still uh, questioning you, they are pressuring you, they are still uh, negativities na nangyayari sa mga. And I think hindi yun ally, it's a tolerating. Like in Filipino culture, uh, parang, Ano ka naman namin, pero huwag lang ganito, yung laging mayroong huwag ganito, huwag ganito, okay. but may there, there's contagious. So, nagiging tolerating na siya, pero hindi talaga siya ally. You also remember na meron din mga allies who take away the microphone, away from us, alam mo yun, yung, yung whenever we fight for our rights, kung ganyan, yeah. yung life pa. There are allies no, na, na mas marami pa silang sinasabi kaysa sa atin, yung yeah. ganyan. Um, I think uh, for allies to be real allies, di ba? They should be able to to um to capacitate us and to empower us to yeah. speak about issues that affect us, diba? Dapat, dapat tayo yung nagsasalita about yeah. our issues, diba? Oh. At yung role ng ally is to um is to yes to, to, to make the environment um safe enough for us na na pwede tayo mag-usap about our issues yeah. and about our our ano, yung mga programs na kailangan natin, yung mga polisiya na kailangan natin, yung ganyan. Kasi diba, we, we know the market because we are the market. Yun yung term na rin sa Pasilya. Kaya dapat yung spotlight, kung ikaw alay, hindi ikaw yung kukuha ng spotlight. Rather, ibibigay mo sa kami wala sa spotlight para mas narili mo. Kasi kami yung realities. Or gagawa ka ng espasyo ng may spotlight for us. us. Yan yan. Yun yung talagang, yun yung, for us, yun yung talagang definition of alay. I think, I think it, it went offhand. <laughs> we talked about allies, but um, siguro to conclude, um, since ako naman at, at this point, actually, at the moment, is I'm not really quite sure then if what am I. Pero at least now, I, 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 I have an insight na, na alam ko na that it, it, identity is not labels. Parang ngayon, I realize, I don't know about you, it's just who you are. Okay? You, you don't need to label that. You don't need to have a name for it. It's just who you are. It's really hard to label yourself and then it suddenly changed because you've discovered new things. Sure. And that yeah. makes you be confused more. Mm -hmm. And you'll, you'll start questioning yourself again. Am I really this kind of person? Or, yeah. Because it's usually just realization after realization. Yeah. And it's up to you to like accept that. And like if you want to label it, you label it. Yeah. And sometimes the new identity natin nag depend din sa, sa kung ano yung lingwahe meron tayo. Diba? Kung yung lingwahe natin ay medyo sexist. Diba? Yung, yung, yung identification natin ng mga bagay-bagay might be sexist. Diba? Yeah. For example, I'll give you an example. Um, yung, yung salitang Tagalog, yung salitang Pilipino, it's not sexist at all. Diba? Wala siyang he. Yeah. Wala siyang he. Has That's right. Oh, meron tayong siya. Diba? Meron tayong kami. Diba? Um, we, we, we actually, um, siguro during the olden times no, of, of the Filipinos. No? Um, <laughs> yeah, you your time? <laughs> yeah, so that's it. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, but uh, we're just kidding. But, yeah, yeah. Um, in Philippine context talaga, mm -hmm. even before and even during the time na meron na tayong mga mananako, Filipinos are gender neutral. That's right. Actually, very interesting. Kaya nga merong babaylan. They are the uh, two-spirited, yun yung parang talagang term na yun, two-spirited individuals that they do identify themselves as men or women. They identify themselves as two persona within one. That's right, right. So, they are considered one of the highest being in the community, in the balangay, the, ano. So, very interesting. And 
yun nga, talagang malaki yung epekto ng colonialism. Malaki rin yung epekto ng, ng mainstream. Just to sum it up, sa pag-identify talaga natin sa sarili natin. Ang dami yung mag- nagiging factors, environment natin, the way we are nurtured, talaga. Mm-hmm. Doon nagkakaroon ang differentiation kapag nag- in yung process of identifying ourselves. So, yun. So, what is identity? Identity is me. Is me. Is me. Uh, <laughs> that's a great consideration. Identity uh, is me. I think that stems from the fact that um, the world now isn't um, the same as before, but we still carry those ideals right. now. So, parang for me, kasi parang uh, why do you need to come out? Diba? It's not necessary. But like, kasi this is new. Like this is I mean technically it's not new, but ngayon mo lang nakikita na pride is on the streets, pride is everywhere. And that, that's a new thing. So parang the need to come out is very prevalent ngayon. Kasi um, back in the past, they had to hide it. Kasi what, what, what did our ancestors teach those people, teach the generations? It's, it's to oppress that it's unnatural. So parang ganun. So parang I, I think for me, the, I, I think we all know the reason why we have to come out is because of that. So I think it's important to acknowledge that there is an oppression. Yes. The um, reason why we are still in the fight, why there are many populations that are still in the fight, maybe because if they are not in the fight, they are subject to stigmatization and discrimination. Right? So, um, now that they are out, they are out because this is how we liberate themselves. No? Yeah. Finally, 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 I realized that oh, I need to be liberated. No? Dapat be sexual liberation in sa akin. No? So, and at the end, nakakalungkot na. After we come out, there is also technical na agad na mindset na dapat ba, ano ka na, expect mo na yung um, consequences na mm-hmm. bakit may consequences yung pag come out ko na makakatanggap ka ng discrimination, makakatanggap ka ng, ng, ng hindi pagtanggap sa'yo. Mm-hmm. So, Technically, itong mga bagay na to ay isa ng klase ng pagtapak or pagbaliwala sa karapatang pantapa natin. Because we need to remember, as human beings, sabi nila ang soji or ang identities natin, ano, is technically it's not a right, parang gano'n na parang technically lang siya na But technically it's not. It's part, it's part of our rights so to identify ourselves, to be free. To have dignity. Yan yung number one. To have dignity. Yeah. Siguro yung good question dito ay, what will help the younger generation to come out into the open without the risk of being discriminated, being actually even 
different guilt, di ba? Sometimes when we come out, some people may want to kill us. Kaya kapag nag-come out ka yung social media, ang dami mga ma-receive ka doon na puro negative. In fact, some are threatening, di ba? Some are very vile. So, what will help the younger generation to 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 make a living in that environment? Kasali ako. Kasali ako doon. To make a living environment in coming out. Kasi, eto, nakita natin yung mga sikat na nagka-come out, di ba? Mababasa natin sa comment section. Bayot, mamatay ka na lang, salot ka sa lingkod. Right. And that is already a form of discrimination and violence. Kasi mm -hmm. verbal violence na. And in a country that we are living in, we know the context that we are dealing with religious because yun yung ano natin. But sabi nila, Philippines is very LGBT-friendly. Uh, but in reality, we are just tolerating, but we are not really friendly. A heaven for the oh, yeah, It's right. not a heaven for the Because there is no policies protecting right. us. Right. So very interesting yung, yung yeah. message din natin na dapat magkaroon ng soji equality uh, law uh, or act uh, for us to seek. It's not action. Kasi ito yung motion na kapag pinasa natin ang soji equality will give extra privileges as if, right. yeah. mm -hmm. as if we are not marginalized and as if we are not experiencing any violence and discrimination in the community. That's right. At, at hindi lang soji equality, hindi, hindi lang yung pagtanggap oh, ng oh. discrimination. Baka importante din na ma-access natin yung lahat ng mga rights or privileges ng mga straight people na kailangan yeah. ng pagpapakasal. Kasi, diba? may surgeon really takes a huge ano, mm -hmm. part on this. Kasi, it's it's said in the Bible that there's only a man and a woman, and since ano, malaking why am I making a face? I don't know if it's it's just me, but uh, this is this stems from the fact that in the Bible there is only two physical manifestations of human beings, not to, and, and they haven't discovered that, and, and I don't know we. We make that a religion. Yeah. That's why we clung onto it so much. Because it's a norm. Um, it's the standards that made up. But this is just what I'm very interested in. I just want to share this. Na, religion is really the understanding of your Bibliya. If you understand where you are going and how you are going to understand it in your religion. Because there are some but not every all naman uh, religions who are really accepting yeah. naman yeah. Na, na, of being part of the LGBTIQ and they are all actually safe spaces or they are actually uh, churches na talaga safe space for LGBTIQ kasi uh, Biblia, wala naman tayo panapan noon so has been it, revised oh, oh, na revised revised siya and nakadepende din talaga siya on how they understand the context of the Bible. Tsaka, kailangan din natin mayunihan yung konteksto ng ating gobyerno, yung governance oh, yeah. na meron na. Um, ang ating gobyerno ba ay isang theocracy? Mm -hmm. o, ang ibig sabihin nito ay yung, yung, um, yung nag nag-govern no, sa, sa lipunan natin ba ay religion? Is it? Kasi I'd say it's not. Yeah, yeah. You, you, I, I'd like to say, and you'd love to say, and you'd love, you'd like to believe. Yeah. Oh, oh, by paper, it oh, is not. We'd like to believe na, na yung, yung ating gobyerno, yung ating kind of governance na meron tayo, is actually non-sectarian. Mm -hmm. Hindi siya katoliko, hindi siya hindi siya Christo, hindi siya, or whatever, hindi siya isa, mm -hmm. or whatever. No? So, when we create policies, when we create programs, no, it shouldn't be based on religion, no? but it should be based on how we see each other based on human rights. Yes. 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 As human beings. Yes, right. Oh, oh. Kaya we are always pushing na state recognition. Kasi yun ang mahal, right? Because if you are legally binding and you are legally recognized by the state, you are technically uh, protected. So yun yung mahal. Because, syempre, kailangan, oo, oh, oh, napag-usapan natin yung religion. Syempre, kailangan din natin i-respect sila. But at the same time, dapat yung state kinikilala pa rin tayo. Para itong mga to na nagkakos ng, ng barriers for us, nagkakos ng violence to us, eh meron din naman tayo yung para sense na palangkat sa atin. Kasi, para nagiging systematic or 
uh, state sponsor ba yung nagiging discrimination yeah. and violence? Kasi wala naman kayo para naging policy. Oo, policy niya. Na pwede ni ma-protecta for us. O oh, yun yung mahalaga. So I think we go back to the question. Sa mga mas bata yeah. dito, what do we think? Yung, yung mag-e-enable sa environment natin, yung magpapaganda, magpapagaan no, sa, sa, sa environment natin, nang sa gayon ay younger people can freely come out, can freely be themselves, or, or can freely exercise their sexual rights. I think it should start in their homes. Mm -hmm. Since most of like the discrimination usually come first from like family. That's, right. That's why oh, we usually come out to our friends first because they're not accepting. So if the parents um, didn't like enforce the whole street, na no, yeah, it would be much better since it would provide like a more comfortable environment for like uh, young people that are still discovering themselves. Yeah, it's education as well. It's in the school institution. Yeah, that's right. And, and I think this all boils down, but then on how our government. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. So it's very important the role dito ng government. Yeah. Oh. That's why we should support leaders that support everyone, like oh, with gay that. rights. May you be gay or yeah. actually, kung kung susumahin natin, kung susumahin natin yung buhay ng isang LGBTQIA plus person. Ang sabi ni Keith kanina, nang start yan sa kung yung discrimination starts ng kaya ka. But let's let someone. Nasa loob ng bahay, si LGBT to each other, hindi siya ko. Lalaki ka. Right? Lalaki ka, pero ayaw mo, ayaw mo buhatin itong sako ng bigas. Mga ganyan. Diba? Diba? These are very simple sentences. Pero actually, meron siyang impact sa atin. May discrimination sa bahay. Pag labas ni LGBT, Ay, nasakay siya ng tricycle, yung tricycle. Uy, bakla! Alito ka dito? Mm -hmm. Yan, yeah, diskriminasyon. Maglalakad siya doon sa kanto, binidiskriminasyon ng mga ng mga um, construction Tambay. workers, ng mga tambay, ng mga umiinom, di ba? Pagdating niya sa kanyang eskwelahan, binidiskriminasyon ng kanyang mga ng, ng, ng kanyang mga classmates. Pagpunta niya sa church, sa church, marinilig niya na ang mga bakula ay mga salot ng lipunan, di ba? So, every day, every minute of his life is a story of discrimination. And, and that's sad. It feels like it's all stem from the patriarchy, the toxic masculinity. Yeah. So, to the natin makikita, no, na simula yung imagine na kapag isa ka LGBTIQ sa bahay, sa community, sa sa lahat, damo mo yung discrimination. Tapos, Maririnig mo, kapag humingi ka ng isang polisiya na protekta sa iyo, ang sasabihin, regulate you. That's what I don't understand. Kasi yung mga, in the first place, yung hinihingi natin yung rights, rights din naman nila. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, we didn't have to ask if it was already unknown. Yeah, if, it, if it's right. there, why ask for it? We don't feel the protection, we don't feel the security. Why would we even ask for something that we yeah, already have? Ito pa yung important yung, yung sinasabi nila, unisonly kapag, kapag nag-post tayo sa Facebook. Mahal kita, pero huwag kang nalaw, huwag ka naman, huwag, huwag kayong mag-asawa. Mm -hmm. like mahal kita, pero huwag kang nalaw, huwag Mahal kita, pero huwag kang nalaw, huwag na yung soji ikaw. Yeah. Yeah. Pero kung totoong mahal nila tayo, dapat, dapat, diba, dapat, the way how they treat us should be equal with themselves, diba? Dapat din natrato mo ko as equal with you. I think we are mm -hmm. here that uh, that comes from the fact that they don't really understand. Mm -hmm. Pero this is what I always answer to people who don't understand. You don't need to understand, you just have to accept because we are the same, you understand that enough. Mm -hmm. It's just that the technicalities of who I am is what you don't understand. When you go deep in yourself, we are the same. That's right. Yeah. So again, it was down to important na yung education. Yeah. At baka, baka important din yung, yung participation natin, tayo yeah. mga LGBT people, yung participation natin in building a nation that is less discriminatory, that is less stigmatizing. Yeah. Uh, dito siya po papas kong pride. Yeah, totoo. I said, at all pride, it's not just about celebration of being an LGBTIQ. It is, sabi ko kanina, visibility. Mm -hmm. 
pagkilala at pagpapakilala sa atin that LGBTIQs are just like you and LGBTIQ are a, a, a wonderful people to be with because we are showing them the community we belong na ito po yung community namin lahat kayo alay man ang hindi welcome to mama para pakita nyo kung gaano kasi yung friend kaya sabi ko loon sa, sa isang talk, a private talk kasi isa rin friend in the advocacy of uh, uh, human rights na sana hindi lang tayo hanggang June nagkakaroon ng pride dapat sa buong taon meron tayong visibility sa buong taon pinapakilala natin at naipapakita natin ang ating community yes. kasi ginagawa natin parang holiday na ang June but June lang ba? Tayo ba? Tayo ba? Actually, yung interesting take din dito na siguro hindi na inintindihan ng mga kapatid natin ng mga um, heterosexuals. Ang sabi nila ay, um, yung mga, yung mga, ano, yung mga LGBTQA class, meron silang Pride, Pride March, pero meron pang Pride March for the heterosexuals. So, Pride March for the same people. The rest of the year, why can't we have this one month? Pagbigyan mo naman kami. Pride was created for us gays really walk in the street to really come out. It's like to say, hey, we're here. It's not like it existed for the heterosexual to say, I'm a boy, I'm a girl. That's really, that's really, that's really nonsense. Because if you can do it, organize all the heterosexuals, and then make a pride. Better remember, they are actually lucky because they do not need pride more. They are already acknowledged as decent human beings. They don't need to label themselves because it's already set. The very fact, yeah, right. The very fact that we need pride is an acknowledgement that we are a marginalized community. It is for them to know that they are not alone. 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 They are Let's be honest in the community that even the straight individuals experience gender-based violence. Even our straight people experience discrimination based on their gender. Kapag nalaki ka, Diba? If you cry, if you act feminine, you do women chores, you will be discriminated. Uy, bakla ka ba? As if yung pagiging bakla is isang discrimination. Or kapag yung bakla ba? Bakla ba? Bakla ba? Yung mga ganyan, diba? Ako, okay, another topic that we have to discuss is how, ano, how it doesn't make sense why there are these stereotypes. I feel like these stereotypes really doesn't make sense. So, if we want to have more equality, if we want to, if the straight people doesn't want us to have a pride, then they have to listen in the first place. Yeah. But come up a pride, come right. if you don't feel unheard, right? Yeah. I think we need to remember the history of pride. Oh, I know how that was in the beginning. It started in 1969. The Stonewall riots. Yeah, yeah. 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 We are an historian. We are an historian. History is an historian. We are 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 an historian. At yung bar na yung safe event for the LGBT community. Um, nagkaroon lang yung mga polis, ayaw nila doon. So, so syempre, nire-raid nila yun. Nung ganyan. Tapos, sabi ng mga LGBT people, in 1969, no, this is 1969 na. Yeah. In 1969, in-office na. So, nagkaroon sila ng riot, no, small riots, ganyan, na away-away nila yun. Kaya, every year, inaalala natin yung Stonewall riots, at ito yung natawag ng ating Pride March na doon. Dahil nakaka-experience sila ng stigmatization at discrimination, in fact, even killing. 
But the question is, do we still experience these things? Yes. Yeah. Yes. No. So, so every day, there are stonewall riots that are going on in our life. Every Oo. day, cry. Pero doon iba balik yung ano ko kanina, yung point ko kanina na ang pride hindi lang dapat a uh, one month event. It should be at least a year long. year long na lahat tayo nagkakaisa to protect each other. Kasi eto para wala namang wala pang batas ng protekta sa atin. At least tayo sa community, tayo yung nagtutulungan tayo yung nagpo-protecta sa isa't isa. Kasi in reality, si the community, tayo rin mismo kung minsan ang nagiging cause of discrimination, ang nagka-cause ng discrimination talaga. Sa kapwa natin, the inv- yung in-invalidate in- nga natin minsan yung identities ng mga, mga kapwa natin, niya pro na LGBTQ. And those uh, norms and those narratives should be removed in our community for us to be much unified in a sense and at the same time, para mas ma-push forward natin. Kasi ito nakakalungkot nga, isang napakasikat na, na LGBTIQ icon in the Philippines doesn't want to have uh, subject to ID ah, in the Philippines. Yun yung isa sa mga narrative. Ngayon, yun yung pinakumutan ng mga anti, uh, anti-LGBTIQ group. So, dapat matanggal natin yun. And at the same time, yun nga, tayo mismo sa community, tayo yung nagiging uh, shield. Kaya, <laughs> oh, kaya ang pride ay hindi dapat hanggang June na. Ang pride ay dapat araw-araw. Kasi araw-araw, nakakaranas tayo ng diskriminasyon, pagpantay, uh, violence, all forms of violence na ranasan ng isang LGBTQ. At napakababa na sa chance na ang isang LGBTQ hindi nakaranas ng diskriminasyon at pangalagin. So yun yung lagi kong pinapaalala na hindi ka at natatapos ang tune sa pagkilala <coughs> sa aking karapatan. Okay, since we've already reached the end of our event, it's time for our personal messages. <laughs> Wait, hindi ka sure? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> So I guess I'll start. Uh, since I have not come out yet, I am taking this as an opportunity to do so. Hi, Ma. <laughs> if you're watching this, just know that your daughter, I'm just kidding, your child is not who you thought all along, like, you know, statement. Although I have not said a uh, fixed label on myself. Just know that I am gay, I am proud of the LGBT. And I hope you would, I hope, I hope you would accept me as who I am because, yeah, I'm still your child. And it doesn't really change that I am your child. I, I just have an identity now, a new personality. Oh. <laughs> Ay, 
Dili na tayo. I do want to know. We know it's a choice to come out, but it's not a choice on who we love. Because it just happens. Yeah. Or our identity as well. It's not a mushroom na bigla-bigla na nang ito. It's time for us. And ito ang message ko to on the advocacy perspective. Nothing about us without us. So let's claim our space and let's be visible and let's continue the movement to start it. Because kapag lahat tayo sama-sama, lahat tayo ay nagtutulungan sa advocacia. Yung mga future generations natin, eto yung mga nag-experience natin, ay sana hindi na maranasan nung susunod pa. Na they don't have like, pressure, fear, uh, fear, and so on. Kasi, hope to make it a yeah, we hope for a safe space that the Philippines will be true to itself. So na. <laughs> na, isa tayong LGBTIQ friendly country. Tama. Huwag na tayong maglokohan. And oh. unity. Unity! <laughs> unity! Sama-sama tayong babangon. Muli. Tsaka ako. Tsaka radical daw. Yeah. Yeah. Radical love. Oh, oh. With ako, radical love, aangat ang ating life. Yes. Ako, ako naman, I just like everyone to remember that, um, or to forget, na you only have yourself. In this community, you do not have just yourself. Whether you are in the closet or out of the closet, we are here. And we will help you, we will celebrate with you, we will go through your struggles with you. And I think this is really important to remember for you, for our watchers to remember. Because I think when you're in a deep, I mean, when you're in a place where you're constantly questioning your worth, you need people who understand you, you need people who not only understand you but love you for who you are. And wherever you are in your process, wherever you are in your journey, you are loved and you deserve that. You deserve that. So, ayan, I think the whole message of Pride is not just celebration, it's not just commemoration. It's a protest. It's a protest. <laughs> it's a movement. So, it's a movement and, and uh, we cater to you guys. Lahat tayo. So, ayan. Okay na ba tayo? Or hindi yeah. ba tayo? tayo. Pantay. Pantay. So yun. <laughs> so that sums up our discussion for this special Pride event brought to you by the Agriato Production. Yes. We invite you guys to please watch and learn from the perspective and narratives of our fellow young people and fellow LGBTIQ. Thank you everyone. Fire, fire, fire.